snow continues to be a concern as we move into the work week, and it may have been a calm for a majority of the winter of the valley, but we've seen a relatively active avalanche season up in the mountains. We head now to meteorologist Paul Beam, who spoke with an avalanche ed educator. Paul joins us now from the newsroom. Paul. Thanks, Matt. Snow patterns have seen calmer in Idaho compared to last year, but when it comes to avalanches, this brings in its own problems. I spoke with an educator from the Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center who explained why this heavier snow late in the season is worse than what we saw last year. We live in an area of the country with a high amount of winter recreation, from skiing and snowboarding to backcountry snowmobiling, but it all has an inherent risk. It'll go from going along making perfect powder turns, having the time of your life, to the worst day of your life in a matter of seconds. Avalanches are one of those risks, and this year the risk has hit close to home with two people dying in avalanches in the Island Park area. Bill Radicke from the Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center says one of the biggest causes they see for avalanche-related injuries and deaths is lack of training or lack of knowledge of knowing where avalanche territory is, especially for snowmobilers. People aren't paying attention to what's above them, what's below them. They may be in a fairly flat area, but they're still an avalanche train because of what's above them. This year we have seen some sporadic snowstorms, which has made the snowpack a little weaker. The big storms we've seen this year change the crystals within the snowpack, making weak layers within the snow on the mountain, making it easier for avalanches to start. But a winter like last year, gave the snowpack time to adjust because of how frequent the storms were. Last year was actually better because of the amount of snow that we were getting uh, and it came over slow periods. We weren't getting these big storms like we're having this year with then a week or two in between the storm periods. But in any year with the amount of steep mountains that we have in the immediate area and the amount of snow these mountains usually see, it won't take much to see an avalanche. You can go out on any given day and see an avalanche almost all winter long if you know where to look and what you're looking for. Bill Radicke stated that the event held at Action Motorsports yesterday was a good start at getting educated on avalanche risks and that the next step is to sign up for formal avalanche classes. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Paul Beam, KPVI News that works for you. Okay, thank you very much, Paul.